Welcome back guys, another scenario caught on tape. We're gonna jump right into it, analyze it step by step. Shana, we have here a scenario. Okay, we see someone dragging here, here, someone on the ground. You try to get her bag. Yeah, so he drags her by the bag, by those hands on the floor, and then runs away. Let's see, what can we do? Now, what happened in the video, that the woman is trying to fight for her bag. Pull, trying to fight for her bag, but the attacker is stronger. Pull, pull, the attacker is stronger. And in the end, we don't really understand if it was, if it was able to take the bag or not, but we definitely understand she wasn't able to neutralize him. The attacker ran away. Now, <clears throat> instead of trying to resist, pay attention, there is a concept in Krav Maga. Instead of trying to resist and right pull and try to take the bag to myself, it's not gonna work. He's stronger than me. The attacker is stronger than me. There you go. So instead of doing that, I want you guys actually to use his motion. Right, Leo, can I get my bag? There you go. You're gonna use his motion in order to turn. Pull Leo, whoop, whoop, and face my legs to his knees, to his uh, central body groin, face if needed. Pay attention, the way I was rotating. So using his motion, when he's pulling me, whoop, I'm rotating, boom, boom, boom. And then fighting with my legs on the ground to his knees, right? Pay attention, from here. If he tries to attack me, I have his knees. Because my knees are not anymore a weak spot. Right, Leo, give me a kick into my knees. It's not a weak spot anymore because I'm not standing on them. But his knees, right, with the pressure of his body, are definitely a very, very, sense, a very sensitive weak spot. When I'm giving a kick here, hop, I'm able to get the distance. I'm able to move back and run away if needed. And pull, take the bag, take the bag. Nice, nice, try to fight, try to fight back. There you go. Uh -huh. The moment you're turning your legs to the attacker, you have many other options. Kicking to the knee, right? Get closer, get closer. Kicking to the groin, boom. If he gets close to you, try to get, yeah, try to get her, the bag again. Try to get the bag again. Shana, here. oh, there you go. So here, when she turns her leg towards the attacker, she has many other options, like kicking to the knee. The knee is a very um, good weak spot. If you're a little closer, also groin. Getting just crazy with those legs, groin, knee, groin, knee, boom, 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 okay? And if you're trying to get her bag again, she can go with her legs lifting the hips to the head. Go. There you go. Okay? So the idea is whenever you're on the ground and someone pulls you, rotate your, your legs, your kicks are the strongest weapon, and then go to the weak spots. The moment you have the distance, right? Kick, kick, kick. The moment you have to distance, stand up, stand up, stand up. There you go. And run away. Ask for help. Do whatever it takes. Leo, I want you got now <clears throat> to grab her bag and try to stand on your feet. Go! There you go. Oh, try to take the bag. Try to take the bag. Yeah, and there you go. The moment you have space, you're gonna stand up. Excellent. Okay, so the moment you're kicking, striking, and you have the opportunity, you got a distance, stand up, run away, ask for help, anything like that. Good job, Shana. Leo, thank you for helping. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.